Hey everyone, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this video we're going to learn how to brainstorm anything using artificial intelligence. Uh, so what I'm working with here is called Jarvis. This is a AI copywriting software, which I use to write uh, a lot of things these days, especially blog posts. But one of the coolest things about Jarvis and about AI copywriting software in general is that it can be really good for uh, generating ideas and brainstorming things. It's just a matter of giving it the right inputs. So I designed this recipe in Jarvis to, uh, to uh, brainstorm anything. And if you already have Jarvis, the link to this recipe will be in the description if you want to add it to your dashboard. If you don't already have Jarvis, there's going to be a link in the description as well where you can sign up for a free trial, which gives you uh, 10,000 words to generate with Jarvis. It's definitely enough to let you know if this is going to be a good tool for your business. And if you need to do a lot of writing, especially content writing or copywriting, then I think this is going to be a good tool for your business. Anyways, let's get right into it. So I'm just in the recipe and I'm going to hit run and that loads it into a new document. And uh, so here, uh, anything that's indicated by curly brackets is an input. So the first input is what Jarvis needs to know about. Um, so this could be literally anything, but let's just say I want to brainstorm uh, blog ideas about copywriting, then uh, what Jarvis needs to know about is me and my blog. So I'm going to put in biography. And then the next input is facts and assumptions for Jarvis. So this is information that Jarvis needs to have about me and my blog in order for him to provide me with good ideas for my blog related to copywriting. So I'm going to type um, I'm a blogger, a copywriter, and a digital marketer. I want to focus more on copywriting and become known as a great copywriter in the digital marketing niche. All right, so there's a little, a little bit of information about me. It doesn't need to be a lot. It could be significantly more than that, but uh, we'll, just, we'll just do this one quickly. And then here we have a boss mode command. Uh, the pointy bracket signifies a boss mode command. And then we have uh, another input here. So it's write some what you are brainstorming ideas for me based on the above. That is the boss mode command. Um, so we're going to replace this with blog post ideas for me based on the above. So now we have biography. I'm a blogger, a copywriter, and a digital marketer. I want to focus more on copywriting and become known as a great copywriter in the digital marketing niche. And then command is write some blog post ideas for me based on the above. Let's see what happens. How to make your copywriting stand out from the competition. The best way to write an effective digital marketing campaign copy. 10 copywriting tricks to make your copy irresistible. Four ways to improve SEO on your blog posts. Those are all, I would say, quite good, um, especially with a little bit of tweaking they could uh, each make a, a good solid blog post. Um, now let's just change this a little bit, add a little bit more information. So we'll say I'm a blogger, a copywriter, a martial artist, and a digital marketer. And now let's just run this command again and see if it changes anything now that I've given it a little bit more information about me. Okay, so we got some good ones again. How to get started as a freelance copywriter. 18 things I wish someone would have told me before pursuing a career in copywriting. Nine ways to write great headlines for blogs, articles, and emails that generate leads. Okay, um, so what I was actually hoping was that they would reference the martial artist part in some way. So maybe I can get it to do that. 
Um, let's see. Want to focus more on copywriting and become known as a great copywriter in the digital marketing niche. And martial arts niches. Write some blog post ideas for me based on the above. All right, those ones aren't as good. Try one more time. Now let's try this. Um, a martial artist and a digital marketer. I want to focus more on. Become, I want to become known as a great copywriter and in the dig, known as a great copywriter. Who helps martial artists earn more money? Let's try this. Marketing to martial artists: ten ways to boost your messaging and increase sales. Now that's what I'm talking about. So this is like if I decided that I wanted to write a blog post um, that would target martial artists like martial arts instructors and get them to approach me to potentially uh work with them then that's the kind of blog post that i could write let's run this one more time how to turn your martial arts blog into a revenue generating machine six tips every martial artist blogger needs to know what copywriting style is best for, best for martial artists so these are again pretty good um with a little bit of mixing and matching a little bit of polishing those could lead to some really great titles so the reason that I went through this whole process is that I wanted to illustrate that uh, what you put up here matters a lot. And actually what you call it matters a lot too. Um, so like if, uh, you know, if you were writing about a company, you would put like company description. If you were writing about a, uh, a certain time, then you would put state of the world or something like that. Um, and there's actually some, some there's three examples that I uh, used when I was creating this recipe and they are included in the recipe description so you can read them when you uh, when you click on the link to check out the recipe and uh, yeah so that's how that works uh, you can use this to brainstorm literally anything I know I used it for blog post ideas which isn't that creative um, but you just need to tell it what you want and it'll help you um, so that's, uh, that's how to brainstorm anything with, uh, AI copywriting software. Again, I'm using Jarvis and you can get a free trial to Jarvis using my link, which is in the description. And, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.